What's up, everybody? Rodrigo Bayone back at you again with another amazing segment of All About You. Today we have a new guest, Mr. Manuel Sanchez. How are you, sir? I'm good. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on Thank the show. Thank you for coming. Thank yeah, you for coming. Absolutely. So, you know, I've, I've been enjoying talking to you, prepping for this about everything that has to do with the real estate industry yeah. um, and the future of real estate, which I think is social media, which we're talking about. So we'll yeah, get absolutely. there. But people really don't focus on the experience of the client, like a concierge boutique service. Tell me a little bit about what you design for a client as far as the overall experience and what they should expect and why. You know, I think for me, a huge part is, is really tailoring um, every single client to, to their needs and to what they're looking for. Um, incorporating the same across the board. Um, I think social media is huge. It's a huge part right now to either selling a home or even finding homes for clients. Um, marketing right now is huge. Uh, you see a lot of social media marketing. You see a lot of uh, flyering when, it, when, I, when, I have my, when I'm trying to sell a, a home to a client of mm -hmm. mine. Um, it just tailoring it to their needs and what they're looking for, I think it's huge. And, and, and to do that, you really have to listen to, to them and what they want out of it. Okay, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, okay. I'm going to go deeper right now, right? Okay. <laughs> what motivated you to get into real estate? Like what, before the <laughs> aha, I want to do real estate, you know, where'd you start to motivate you to like, not everyone likes people, right? And yeah, not sure. everyone's comfortable um, tailoring something yeah. of the experience to the clientele. So, you know, where'd you start? You know, I, I, I was selling cars before real estate and um, my girlfriend, she, when I started selling cars, I was working for Porsche here in San Diego. And she said, well, yeah, the next step would be selling homes. Uh, and she kind of put that in my head. And I was like, you know what? She's right. The next step would be selling homes. And I started reading into it. Of course, a uh, million dollar listing that showed just like a lot of realtors out there get into real estate because of the show. They see all the glitz and glamour. And they're like, I want to be like, you know, the guys on the show. And it's so easy. And look at the, their paychecks. Like they're getting these tons of money. And I was like, you know, I want to be like them. That was my first impression of real estate. And that's what drew me in. Um, of course, I was selling cars. And I, at the time, I was uh, working in Beverly Hills. Okay. I got my real estate license. And I went out, found a uh, brokerage I wanted to work with. And the first four months was complete hell to me like it was like terrible I had no direction I had no one to to call me and say what are you doing like it was it was just bad and that's 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 how I got started in real estate and it's now been uh, a year and a half two years now so, so it was trial and error by yourself <laughs> you were like in your own island it, and of all places to start Beverly Hills Beverly Hills yeah I mean did you grow up in LA? No, I didn't. But you know, when I was younger, I used to travel. Uh, I used to go to LA. You know, I was going up to LA three, four times a, a, a month. Okay. I mean, so I knew it very well, and I knew the area of West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, the Hollywood area, and uh, it, I knew it very well. So I said, "What better place to to start?" You know. Yeah. Um, of course, I got I got kicked in the mouth <laughs> when I uh, decided to go up there, and and it's it's you know the real estate game. It's hard here in San Diego. Multiply, multiply that by 10 in LA. Wow, yeah. crazy. Okay, now we're in the best city in the United States. We're in yep. San Diego. 100%. Uh, and, you know, real estate's so consistent right now, mm -hmm. now until next year. I mean, it's awesome. Tell me about how you've met most of your clients. Like, sphere, word of mouth, you know, growing up in San Diego, social media. Like, what works for you? You know what? I started uh, doing open houses. Beautiful. Um, I was working for the district group at the time, and um, and I started, you know, going hard with open houses. I mean, I was doing five open houses a week. Uh, my first clients, luckily, after moving back to San Diego and and finding a brokerage here, um, within the first month, I had my first deal. Um, and I got them from open houses. They walked in. They needed to sell their house and buy another property. And from there, it kind of I just use that and leverage it to find more deals. Awesome. Um, where they sold, I try to find more listings, and where they bought, uh, I try to find more more buyers to buy in that area. Um, most of my deals have come from Chula Vista, so it just you know, I feel like doing the open open houses there. Whether I'm a fluent Spanish speaker, so that helped out a lot. Um, but I guess just leveraging one deal to find the next one. Yeah. Awesome. Um, 
So Chula Vista, Chula Vista is huge and it's growing. Yeah. Everything that's going on, yeah. Um, all the new developments. Mm -hmm. Tell me. So I'm a client. I'm in Chula Vista. How how do I find you? How do I get a hold of you? It's it's hard not to find me these days or anyone. Yeah. Uh, any good agent. It's on social media and I'm constantly posting on uh, on stories. My day to day. Um, either it's that or it's, uh, I, I started a vlog on YouTube where I kind of take everyone into what it's really like to be a real estate agent. And, and going back to looking at a million dollar listing, it's not glitz and glamour. It's really, you, you sweat and it's tears and sweat and working hard every single day, day in and day out, no days off type of thing. And, and uh, that's what people sometimes that get into real estate have that mentality like I did. Um, I was naive and I said, well, if I put on a nice suit and I tell people I'm an agent, I'm just going to get deals. And that's not the way it works. But I mean, in today's market uh, and today's world, uh, social media is a huge part of, of how I market not just myself, but my listings as well. What one key thing you said is, you know, you were doing five open houses a week. Yeah. It's funny because I'm going to say over 50 percent of realtors don't do open houses because they let right. their life get in the way mm -hmm. and or laziness and or they expect the internet to sell a house, whether it's posting right. it and whether it's on one of those huge other um, websites like a Zillow or Riffin, whatever, it's yeah. going to sell your home. Doing an open house is what matters. And then for all the people that are watching that uh, would love to list their home with you, I mean, you're literally doing the work where most people just post something. So you're doing actually double work because you're actually putting in the time right. to hold an open house but then you're sharing the property on social media, you're promoting it, you're doing you're doing clever marketing, bringing in buyers, finding sellers, whatever it may be. Yeah. So you're doing a lot of everything for them. Yeah, you know, and I think that's one of the reasons why people hire you is because they, they wanna work with you and because they trust you. And I think for me, that's, that's a huge part. So when I get, for example, the listings that I've had, I, I promise them, you know, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be holding the open houses, me personally, because there no one else, you know, I can't, I can't bring someone in no one else is going to sell it as, as as badly as as i want to or and nobody's going to talk about the house as as, as uh with as much knowledge as as the sellers have given me so i think for me you know being face to face and not only that but open houses even if it's my listing that just opens up the door to buyers and just finding more clients so like i said going back leveraging you know one deal to get the next one Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, for everybody watching right now, how do people get a hold of you? On all social media platforms, you can find me at Sell with Manuel, all spelled out. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Sell with Manuel, or you can give me a phone call, 619-874-1044, or shoot me an email, Manuel, at sellwithmanuel.com. Pretty easy. Super easy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Well, you guys heard it. Manuel Sanchez, professional realtor at Compass Real Estate. And uh, Fluence, all you people, Spanish speakers, English speakers, whatever it may be, looking to list your home or buy a home, give them a call. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye-bye.